in the previous session uh, we have seen uh, the single phase transformers now we will be uh, seeing uh, what exactly the three phase transformers are uh, three phase transformer can be made by three single phase transformer also then when they are connected in either in data fashion the primaries are connected in data or star and uh, second is also connected in data or star whatever is required so uh, three single phase transformer can also serve the purpose of a three phase transformer when the power requirement is higher uh, for a consumer then uh, we will be having a three phase transformer rather than a single phase transformer so we will see what type of connections in the three phase transformer are there first of all primary and how the primary and secondaries are connected in three phase transformer First of all, we will say delta to delta connection. I can write delta like this. I can write delta as delta delta connection. Both the primaries and secondaries are connected in delta. So, this type of application is normally used in uh, low voltage and high current applications. Wherever I am requiring low voltages and uh, high current, I will be using delta to delta connection. Whereas where uh, the current line current is lagging uh, the line voltage by 30 degree, we know that uh, we also know that uh, EL is also leading uh, in EL is leading EPH by 30 degree. We uh, you know we know this fact. We are not going into that discussion. So what is the uh, current EL and uh, sorry the voltage EL and IL in uh, data data connection we will see that first of all EL the line uh, side uh, line side voltage would be equal to N times of E into L when the transformer ratio is 1 to N and the current IL would be equal to I by N. This would be for delta to delta connection, which is used for low voltage high current applications. And EL would be equal to NEL at the secondary, and IL would be I by N at the secondary. <coughs> now, coming to another. Uh, form which is called the delta y where my primary is connected into delta and my secondary is connected into star this is actually this is uh, used for stepping up of, of uh, voltages where my uh, voltage requirement is high and the current requirement is low so this is used for Step up, high voltage, and low current. This is for high voltage and low current applications. And uh, uh, if we want to throw the uh, voltage side, voltage of the secondary side EL would be equal to under root of 3 and EL and the current would be IL is equal to I upon under root of 3 and this would be the current in the case of delta when it will be coming, current will be coming here, secondary current. When EL is applied over here, 
I'll be getting EL over here, line voltage here would be under root of 3 and EL, whereas the current over here, when current IL uh, is applied over here, I'll be getting current IL is equal to under root of 3, uh, I upon under root of 3 and now coming to another part which is called a wired interconnection where my primary is now connected into Y when the secondary is connected into delta. This type of uh, connection is used where I am requiring a step down of uh, voltage. So this is for low voltages and high current applications. <coughs> This is used when I want a step down in voltage, means low voltage and high current applications. So, here what are the um, uh, line side, uh, delta side? line voltages so we'll see EL will be equal to I'll be using a different color so that you will understand EL the line side current over here would be equal to under root of 3 and EL in the same way yeah. and IL will also be same as I upon and root 3 This would be the case when the fashion would be Y delta. It is used for step down where the voltage requirement is low and the current requirement is high. Now, the fourth one would be the Y Y connection. When I will be using Y Y connection, it is used in high voltage low current applications it is used in high voltage low current applications and for this EL will be equal to in the same way EL will be equal to N, EL and I, L will be equal to I upon N. This is the fashion, in this fashion, all the primaries and secondaries are connected and these are the applications of the uh, transformers. These are the applications. And this is the secondary voltage which is coming out of the line. These are the secondary terminal voltages of the line when the primary connect is EL or IL. <coughs> there are uh, several ways, other ways of connection of uh, these. We will see this. See that? Other ways are called as zigzag transformers also. Zigzag way of transforming. Zigzag can be of 180 degree shift or, or, or of 0 degree phase shift. There could be bias zigzag also. These are just review of the transform of the year, not going into those because that was not normally not asked in examinations. But these, we, we should be familiar with the uh, what are the uh, phase shift of the normal transformers. Zigzag transformer are 180 degree and 0 degree phase shift, whereas Y zigzag transformer are 30 degree phase shift.
these two are very important. Another type of the uh, three phase transformer is called as open data. Where both the transformers primary are connected in this fashion. This is my primary winding, this is my secondary winding. So, like you can see this thing that the third terminal is not having anything, it is directly going into the supply and it is not having anything. No inductance is there, no reactance is there. So, why it is used? It is used for to connect potential transformers. First thing, PT stands for potential transformers. It is used for correcting the potential transformer. So, and uh, second thing is output current. is equals to the 57.5% of the normal voltage. Fifty-seven percent of the normal voltage. Third thing is very important, capacity. Capacity is reduced by 86.6 percentage. Capacity is reduced by 86.6% of the normal one. It means that normal one is three phase. It means the advantage of this open data is when a transformer uh, is connected in delta delta fashion and one of the winding of the transformer is not faulty, it will start continuing working in uh, open data fashion. So that uh, there is no uh, break of the supply and the subcontinuity of the supply is there. So, but with a reduced rate, that is 86.6 percentage of the uh, normal three phase configuration. So, the advantage of this is first of all, uh, there is a continuity of supply. There is even though one one of the binding is not faulty. Other thing is that. When there is a future requirement in rural areas, what happens that may be possible that the, at that time uh, the, uh, the requirement is not higher. So, uh, the, both the transformers, both the bindings of the transformer are connected in delta fashion, open delta fashion, uh, and when the future requirement is there, so they, are, they will be connected in delta fashion to meet the uh, desirable load at that time. So, future growth is also possible. So, the advantage, all the advantage I will write. First advantage is what? Continuity of supply. Second, very important thing is future growth. And third thing is when? One has one of the wiring of the three phase delta delta transformer has gone faulty, then there is no breakage of the whole or the whole system, but the system will be working on 86.6 percentage of the uh, total capacity, and at that time the current would be 57.5 percent of the normal. Rate. <coughs> so the third point is. When one of the connection of the open data uh, of the data is gone, faulty, there is a continuity of the supply and also future growth is there.